Hi there, welcome to our channel. While the market for smartphones now offers a colorful variety of providers, the market leading operating system at the moment are Google's Android and Apple's iOS. But these are not the only two operating systems out there. There's Sky OS for feature phone and even smartwatches have their own OS like Tizen OS and Wear OS. So the market is full of variety of OS for variety of devices. But the most important among them is Android which can be found in smartphones, smart TVs, smartwatches and many more. Well, we have a new provider in operating system that is Huawei who gave an official confirmation about the adoption and progress of Harmony OS 2.0 and it is expected to be released as scheduled in December this year and there is lot more that I'll be telling you but before that here's a word from our sponsor Wondershare. So if you got a new Huawei Mate 40 or Mate 40 Pro and want to transfer all of the data from your old phone be it Android or iPhone then there's a tool in Dr. Phone Suite called Phone Transfer that will help you transfer all the data with just a single tap. It's hassle-less, fast and provides best results. For more information about phone transfer, check out the link given in description below or click on the card. So if you check the current market share of every operating system, then as of October 2020, Microsoft Windows for PC is ahead with 37% share followed by Android with 36%, iOS comes in third with 14% with Mac OS in fourth place at 9%. Then there are some unknown OS with 2-3% and finally Chrome OS at 1%. Now Huawei has been working on Harmony OS since 2012 and wanted it to be the future for its devices but due to current situation with US, they were forced to implement Harmony OS as quickly as possible. And it's actually turning out to be great. The president of Huawei Consumer Business Software Department said that the current progress is very good. According to him, the research and development are ready and the release will take place on schedule. If we go back a year, in August 2019, Huawei released Harmony OS 1.0. The microkernel based system was first used in Honor's Honor Vision Smart TV and was expected to be used in various devices from various branches of electrical industry. Also, the performance of Huawei Arc compiler advertised by Huawei is particularly interesting. This is supposed to be on par with the competition from Android and thus supports different programming languages for app development. This includes Java, C and C++. And as I said before, Harmony OS is microkernel based. So this allows for flexible deployment of new OS on various devices, easing app development in all scenarios. The multi-device IDE should make it possible to only have to write apps once and then use them on different types of devices. This reduces the complexity and greatly improves the efficiency of full-scale deployment. And it's also much more secure than Android. This new operating system according to Huawei will become an important aspect of Huawei's ecosystem and gradually make its way to most of its devices over the course of next few years. Check out this version timeline. Harmony OS is currently in its second version since its release. Harmony OS 2.0 was launched by Huawei in its in-house developer conference in September 2020 and linked to the announcement that the system would also be used in the company's own smartphones as an alternative to Android. About the ecosystem, Dr. Wang gave a simple example. He said, many people like to sing song at home, as long as their mobile phones and large screen use Harmony OS, the mobile phone can be transformed into professional microphones, the TV can be used as MTV player, and the mobile phone can also use app to easily play song, cut song, tuning, etc. So it seems they are building a perfect ecosystem. We also know that Huawei is investing heavily in its new system. Hopefully it will be able to clash with Android and iOS. After all, these kind of competition are important to the end consumer. Anyways, Huawei is going to roll out this OS first in its home country China and according to previous details, Huawei and Honor devices running certain processors will get Harmony OS. Additionally, models running on EMUI 11 will be upgraded first. So that is all for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.